Oh boy, today we have the Dolce Gabbana Blueberry Nutra Tint Skin Tint, the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Pressed Powder, and the Guerlain Limited Edition Ombres G458 Aura Glow. Hello, print sesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me. Rebecca, as you saw from the preview, we've got a lot of good stuff in store. This really is chock full of three, I think, important releases in our beauty community from Dolce & Gabbana, Hourglass, and Guerlain. And we're going to talk about all of them and demo them. Plus, we are smack dab in the middle of a wear test, which I will tell you about in a few minutes. Let's talk about the products first. So happy to have you here. Don't forget that you can also catch my content over on Instagram, TikTok, and on Threads. If you are in a hurry today and only one of these products or two float your boat, don't forget to make use of the very detailed timestamps that are down below this video in the description bar, as well as you can slide along and check out the description bar for links to purchase, which I always appreciate. I forgot lipstick. All right, stay right there. I need to put okay, on something. Okay, it's just that Charlotte Pillow Talk plump, plump gasm. You know, I hate saying that. I'll have it in the description more. Anyway, what was I saying? I just can't do a whole video with nothing on my lips, you guys. It's just like too, too, too much. What was I saying? Information on Super Thanks and our $4.99 a month members only, where you get members only lives, giveaways, and all sorts of fun stuff. Okay, let's talk about this here. Let me give you the information that I'll tell you how far we are along in the wear test uh, because it's gonna matter to you. We start off today with the Dolce & Gabbana Blueberry Nutri Tint. okay? This is $52 and I got it at Saks and at time of filming, I now cannot find it on Saks. Mm, so I'll update those links because um, I don't know if time of filming, I'll be able to put a link underneath it. But we shall see. I'll, I'll keep my ear to the ground. I'm good about that. And then I'll put it up on this video and post it in community. Um, I got the 10N Light Medium, which we'll talk about during the demo. It goes a little olive, but that's not always such a bad thing. And we'll talk about why that is in the demo. It's a skin tint with 24 hours of hydration. Gives a healthy skin glow. Sheer but buildable. It is a breathable and it uses blueberry cilantro. I don't know what that is, um, but it involves blueberries. <laughs> and I, I found, I looked up cilento. Lisa P, I always ask Lisa because she knows everything about ingredients. Isn't cilento a city? Not an ingredient, Lisa, let us know. Okay, at any rate, uh, that is that is here. And we are in the middle of this wear test. But the one thing that you might not realize is I only have powder on half my face. That's how we're going to test it. And that powder is, of course, the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Pressed Powder. It comes in five shades and is $54. Remember, you're not gonna get a deal. My goodness, it's actually more. Than Hourglass is pricey. It's $54, comes in five shades. Three of them are translucent shades, and then two of the five have a little bit more color. I got translucent medium. It actually has a little bit of coverage, this powder. I was surprised. Um, it is matte, reduces the look of pores. Oh, thank you. And it is talc-free, if that's something that you care about. And we're gonna be trying that today um, on half of the face so we can see how it works. A note about packaging, the Dolce & Gabbana product is adorable. Look at that, but very small, it fits in my hand. But by the way, we're gonna compare this one. Because I got, the minute I put it on my face, the second I put it on my face, I knew what to compare it to. Watch for that in the demo. And the Hourglass, well, it looks like an Hourglass product, doesn't it? Uh, the Hourglass comes with, and you know I won't use it, an adorable little sponge that you can put your finger through. I just don't like when they're not clean. And you can buy a cheapo sponge, you know, like on Amazon and cut it or whatever. Uh, but I like the way that looks in there with a the little Hourglass and gold. Uh, so I'll just be using my own brush. But, you know, you do you. It's very, very nice. And last but not least on my eyes already is a new limited edition palette from Guerlain. And I was told about this from the Lord of Luxury himself, Andrew and Neiman Marcus in Chicago on Michigan. And I always put Andrew's information below. So many of you have called him. Like I said, he's the Lord of Luxury. And he told me all about this and I was able to purchase it through him. This is the Guerlain Ombres G458 Aura Glow. It is limited edition. 
and it is $85. All of these projects are luxury, so you're not going to get a deal on any of these. Although the Hourglass, you'll get a deal if you buy it during the Sephora sale, so there's that. Okay, this is, like I said, limited edition. There we go. Interesting. So I'm wearing it on my eyes, and you're going to see me apply it. This is a... I want to say it's a weird color story, and sometimes Guerlain color stories lose me. Like, I'm with them. I'm like, I get it. I get it. I get it. I don't get it. Um, and sometimes they're very much like that. And this one, I'm just like, well, ha, ha, ha. Why is there like a Frozen by Disney like shade in there? Um, it's interesting, though. They're all kind of like translucent-y, duochrome-y. They're really kind of interesting. Um, let, let me show you it in two different lights, shall we? Here, first of all, in studio lighting is the Guerlain Ombre G458 Auric Glow. But you're not going to really see it as well as you will, you know, when we take it outside into the warm California sunshine. Take a look at it now. It's really pretty. And I don't know if you can kind of see how odd the color, you know, they get along experiments with their color choices. And like I said, sometimes I'm just like, oh, you lost me after the first one. But I kind of like this. It's a little different, but I think it's still wearable. Like sometimes they can almost go costumey to me. I know. I'm a blasphemer, I know. But you know, you can disagree down below. I'm super happy to have you do that. But we're gonna put all of that on. Hey, take a moment, make sure that you're subscribed to this channel, please. This is how I get my channel out there. I know, I know YouTube just recommends content you've seen before, but it's a personal favor to me. If you can please click subscribe, because it helps me out. Okay, we are in the middle of a wear test. We are four hours into the wear test, and I got my trusty mirror here. Everybody asked me about this mirror. You know what? I answer this so much. I should start selling these. You know it's a cheapo Amazon mirror, and I just put sticky back wallpaper on it so you didn't have to look at an ugly back of a mirror. <gasps> Is it true? It's true. Okay. Oh, got a hair there. Okay, let's take a look here. Now, this is four hours in, and I will tell you I have powdered this side of the face, but I have powdered the T-zone. Oh, my T-zone is not shiny at all. And the product is staying beautifully here and under the eyes. That was just a quick check-in. We'll do a nice full one at the end, but let's go first right now to the demo. Stay right there. Okay, we're gonna start with the Dolce & Gabbana Blueberry Nutritint. Um, I got it in 10N, and usually I'll do a little, you know, a little, just because I want to see. I don't want to make too much of a fool of myself, you know? Um, but I haven't this time. So let's see together, shall we? Uh, let me just let you know that I do have, I don't have any sort of primer or anything on. I try not to mess with things too much while we're just testing it out. But I do have a little bit, I'll tell you why, of color corrector, the Cali Ray. It will be in the description bar. Just kind of here and here on the dark pits of despair and a little bit around my nose. Um, just because, you know, we're going to powder half the face. Yes, half the face. I'll explain that in just a moment. Okay, so here we go. Let's <laughs> let's see if I got the shade right. Uh, you can't always tell by holding it up, but let's try it. Okay, so we've got a very, very runny skin tint. Let's see. Now, I always use the sniffer to tell you if there's fragrance, but I'm not really good with actual you know, ingredients. I'm not, I'm not like an ingredient list scour. We have Lisa P to do that for us. Um, I'm just let you know if I smell fragrance and I do not, but I don't know if it's listed in the description of the ingredients. Okay. Oh, it looks like I did pretty well with the shade. You can kind of close your eyes and point when it's a skin tint, you know. Oh, that's pretty. Now you could do this with a sponge. That would be really nice. You could do it with your hands because this is so thin. So, you know, this is a little bit olive looking. Did anybody else look at the, um, I'm trying to do half the face here. Did anybody else look at this um, 10N in the skin tint? It's got a little bit, it's a little bit olive, but sometimes the olive, let me just give you a little hint. We have a community member named Irit who once told me, she's a makeup artist, and she told me sometimes a little bit of that olive can take away a little bit of the redness in your skin. And you guys know from watching my channel, I do get a little, little red here, you know? So um, I do see a bit of olive to it, even though it's a neutral. Okay. And the most obvious comparison right off the bat, without even testing this, is Lisa Eldridge. Okay, but let's take a look here. This side has a little 
little bit of color corrector, just a little bit, nothing else, no primer or anything, and half the face done. And this side just has a little bit of color corrector, very little, very minimal. What do you think? Let me take a look. That's pretty. Now, um, the reason I said immediate comparison, Lisa Eldridge, is that is how light this is. Maybe the Lisa Eldridge, let me do the other side here, is a little bit lighter, but not, not by much. Um, yeah, yeah, this is a little bit more coverage than the Lisa Eldridge, and it's not quite as strangely moisturizing. Uh, not everybody feels this way, but my opinion on the Lisa Eldridge is it's like weirdly moisturizing. I, like after I took it off, I could still feel that. And if you have crazy dry skin, that would be comforting. But for me with my normal skin, I found it a bit off-putting. Um, type below if you kind of share that with me. Okay, let me use my hands. Oh, heaven forfend. Let me use my hands to just kind of work this in. See, this has a much smoother, more natural feeling finish than the Lisa Eldridge, which just felt like I had slathered my face in moisturizer. I found that um, off-putting to be honest. This has a much more natural finish, feels a lot more natural. It does feel very moisturizing on the face though, it does. And it's certainly buildable. I think that's a very pretty product. Oh, it's very rare that I find a skin tint I don't like. Callie Ray, the new Anastasia Beverly Hills stick. That's not a skin tint. I, mean, I can name a, oh, I never really liked the Fenty. Oh, it's the exceptions that make the rule, maybe, I don't know. Okay, so, ooh. Well, I like this very, very much. So my rule of thumb generally is to just kind of let the product go and see how it works and not powder, no setting spray, no primer, blah, blah, blah. Um, but we are testing out a powder. So I thought maybe we would just do half the face with the powder. What do you guys think? Okay, and then we'll let the other half ride. I'm not going anywhere for the rest of the day. It's early enough. It's not quite noon. So we have some time to let this ride and you can go out with half a face powder and no one's going to notice. All right, so let's go ahead and move on. That was our Dolce & Gabbana Blueberry Nutritint. Let's go ahead and move on now to our Hourglass Vanish Airbrush. Um, this is the Translucent Medium. And I have my little Sony G Sky Brush here. And I'm going to just go in here. There is a little sponge. You know I don't like to use those. Oh, this is a pretty powder. I'm just going to go in here and I am going to powder around my eye on the lid. I'll get the rest of the face. Okay, and let's see where else. Okay, so I actually, funnily enough, I kind of do see, oh, oh, brush here. I kind of do see a little bit of shade to the powder, a little bit of coverage. Let's go ahead, oh, well, I wanted to divide my face in half. Let's do the T-zone. Oh, I am shedding. Yeah, okay. All right, I, I did do the T-zone, which is not a very, fair division of the face as the t-zone is in the middle but i'll just kind of gently sweep i like to concentrate my powder under the eyes and we will keep the t-zone powder what a pretty pretty powder okay um you're not going to be able to see too well but let's give it a try this side of my face and indeed this area right here right in the middle is powder and this side i just left totally bare and we'll see how it goes okay um, i'm gonna let this roll all day long so you don't have to worry we'll be able to do a wear test of both of these products okay now let's take a look now because i went ahead oh, I'm so organized today you guys i went ahead and put on some mascara and stuff so we could just jump right in no time to waste, right? To our Guerlain Ombres G in our Aura Glow. And let's go ahead and do um, a look with that on the eyes. Wow, I love this blue leaning shade. I feel like, um, do you remember one of these things is not like the others? That's for any of my Americans who watched Sesame Street or Electric Company back in the day. It, why is that? That's an odd choice, but it's okay, let's see. All right, let's go ahead and use this. We're working with Sonia G today, and I'm just putting this all over the eyes. How do I feel about the Guerlain palettes? Guerlain and I are like Dior and I. We go way back, but we're not always impressed with one another. I love Guerlain products, lip products, face products, meteorites, I mean, come on. Uh, lip products, oh yeah. Eye products kind of depends on the color scheme. I tend to like your lawn better than Dior, although I have both of those new Dior's on order. So stay tuned for that. I don't know what kind of a dance that was, but I guarantee you if my daughters see it, they'll laugh. 
or my oldest daughter will tell me how cute I am. Like I'm a little old lady. Oh, mother, you're so cute. My husband is always like, you know that's an insult, right? Yes, I do. Okay, I'm gonna go under the eye with this really pretty shade. This is kind of like duochrome and cool. I still don't know what I'm gonna do with this crazy thing. All right, let's go ahead and take that same Sonia G brush and let's go in with this and just kind of get, oh, it's just, uh, it's, a, it's a kind of a satiny, slight shimmer. It's not glittery or anything. I just wanna go, oh, it's just as pretty. This is really, really pretty. I told Andrew and Neiman Marcus over the phone, or on text, I think, actually, that I thought I kind of liked it, and I will agree with that. I do kind of like it. It really does depend. I don't know if you're like me. I'm putting this one under the eyes. It really kind of depends on the shades. There we got it so far. What do you guys think? That's kind of pretty for spring because it's a little bit less pastel. I mean, minus these two shades, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, and what about if I go into this shade here? Now this, we run the risk of looking like a lab animal. Uh, let's see. Just wanted to put that there. I am using the same brush because why should we make brush laundry? We don't need to make brush laundry. So I'm just putting it in one spot, wiggling it around just to get a little bit darker in there. Okay. Hey! That's really pretty. That is the sound of brushes rolling all over the, okay. All right, hmm, now let's see. This is, I almost feel you guys, if it were just me and we weren't here together, I don't know if I would put this shade on. I don't know if I love it. So let's see. I know it should go in the inner corner, but that's too simple. Let's just put it a little bit here. Oh, well, that's pretty, actually. How interesting is that? It's got the little, Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, and then I'll take this brush here and just go a little bit. How could you not put this in the inner corner, right? Sorry, I was doing that. <laughs> I always forget. It's not just me. You guys are like, oh, Rebecca Glazer now. <laughs> it's that dental surgery I had the other day. I'm always ready to go, huh? <laughs> okay. All right, what do you think? That's pretty, isn't it? And I know I could have done two looks, but with a quad. So it's really kind of iridescent, isn't it? It's really kind of iridescent and quite nice. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I am going, you have already seen partial wear test. I'll do my wear test check-in at the beginning. I'm so, so organized here. We haven't had a check-in yet. So I'll do that, I'll film my intro later. And then at the end, we'll come back. What you're gonna see now is as long as I can let this ride today. Okay, so. We got powder just on this side of the face. Help me remember that. Okay. It has been a full hours. I didn't know if I'd get it in, but we did. Have you noticed it's been quiet outside? They are like doing some construction. You know, if you've been following my channel, we've had just abysmal amounts of construction outside of where I film for five months now, and they've got a few more months left. But for some reason, some other task has taken them off location. So basically I should film like every video for the month today. It's actually quiet. I kind of don't know what to do with myself because I'm not yelling over the beeping sound of trucks backing up, you know? Anyway, it's been eight hours. I did reapply the lip gloss that I forgotten a while ago. And you did see this hours ago um, and it was holding up well, but let's really dig in right now. We have powder on this side of the face and on this side of the face, we just have the Dolce & Gabbana product. So let's talk about the Dolce & Gabbana skin tint first, this blueberry Nutra tint. Oh, that's holding up beautifully. It's interesting, you know, the Dolce & Gabbana promises 24 hours worth of wear. And I have to tell you, um, it is getting better. This is eight hours in and it looks nicer than it did, but I don't look shiny. Remember, we only have powder on half, so we can give this credit to Dolce & Gabbana. This looks really, really nice here. I need a little bit of concealer, but I don't overdo that on a foundation video. Reminder that I did put a little bit of a color corrector here and a little bit here, also because I wanted to powder that on this side. Um, but yeah, I do still need some here. Um, they have in the comment section given this a name. You know, Super Goop gave me this blemish that is now kind of cleared up but has left a dark spot and everybody has named it Herman. It's like it's my new little friend. 
Mm -hmm. So, you know, Herman needs some concealer on it, but gosh, that's really looking nice. And I mean, it's starting to break up a tad. It's a skin tint. I like it. And I told you in the demo that I kind of compare it to Lisa Eldridge. I like this immensely more. This is a very pretty skin tint. That's $52. How much is the Lisa Eldridge? Because everyone was saying that was, I'll put a comparison down here. Everyone was saying that was so pricey. Uh, so I'll, I'll look that up and, and watch for it here. Okay, so that's looking nice. Now let's talk about our Hourglass Vanish Airbrush because your powder you need to hold up, right? So let me tell you, I use the medium and it actually gave me a little bit more coverage in those places. My T-Zone, now this is interesting. I actually did an okay thing. I put it right in the middle, but middle in that way. And um, I don't know if you can tell, but middle in that way is a lot more matte than middle and that way. Did I explain that right? You know what I mean. Looks good though. And I just put a teeny bit on the cheeks and that is really holding up nicely. And it, the product's breaking up a tad bit over here. So this half and half of face is actually quite nice. And around here, it's kind of similar actually. But I will say this half of the face is holding up better after eight hours. Plus that powder has a teeny bit of coverage. Very, I mean, it's translucent, but I think it had a little bit of coverage. I saw, I saw it, I saw it in there. So that's really nice. The Guerlain is lasting beautifully on the eyes, has not worn off. A lot of that blue glitter is quite visible, but I guess it was when I first did the eyes. I feel like it's even more visible after eight hours. And let me, oh, let me just tell you, it is 80 degrees Fahrenheit today, which is too hot and I want to complain, but don't let me because so many of you are in cold weather and you won't want to hear it. But, you know, just know that I don't like it hot like this. Um, and it is warm today and I've been running around like a crazy woman. So um, this would have all melted and come off, but it's actually doing quite well, especially for a skin tint. But I do think the skin tint actually benefited from the powder. And I think these products work really, really well together. The Charlotte I just threw on because I realized I'd started a video without it. You know, but it's all in the... It's all in the description bar. All right, tell me what you think. What do you need things compared? I talked about Lisa Eldridge versus Dolce Gabbana. Let me know what you need to hear. Do you need some swatches of shades over on Instagram? Well, that's what I'm here for. Just ask me. I do that over on Instagram. Just ask me here or on Instagram, and I'm happy to do that. What other questions do you have? This is what makes us a community, and any of your comments, I'm always, always here for them. Don't forget to to share and like and of course subscribe and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Bye-bye.